The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 holds one of the best cameras in a smartphone. Today I want to take a look at how far I can push this camera and how useful it really is. I'm going to focus primarily on image quality and usability today. Alright, so as you can see, if done right, you can get some extremely good footage with this camera. The dual cameras are great. My biggest complaint with most smartphone cameras so far has been the permanent 16mm full frame equivalent you're stuck at. But on the Note 9, I'm finding myself using the 50mm full frame equivalent lens a lot. It allows you to compress the background a lot more to get smoother bokeh and a cleaner image. And you're not stuck with only wide angle shots, most importantly. So that's great to have. Next, the image itself is really sharp. In my opinion, I think Samsung over sharpens it a bit, but it does look really good despite that. It's sharp and clean. Next up, and this is really just the phone part of this phone, is the screen. The high resolution OLED display makes viewing pictures and videos you've taken a pleasure. You can see every tiny detail of the shot and decide whether you need a retake. For real, if someone introduced a screen like this to an actual camera, I would jump on that train and buy it in an instant. The speakers are great if you need to play back any audio, but the mic sucks, so wash, I guess. The Note 9 comes with a 4000 mAh battery, so you can use this pretty much all day without running out of battery, which is also great. One of Samsung's big marketing points for this phone was the storage. You can buy either the 250GB version or the 512GB version. This is a 512. Throw in a 512GB microSD card and you're at 1TB of storage. That's insane and it also saves you from basically ever having to worry about running out of space when shooting. Anyway, let's take a more in-depth look at this camera by diving into the camera app. Alright, so once you open the app, there are a fair few modes. But I almost always use Pro Mode since it allows me to control all the aspects of the shot. You can pull focus by switching the focus to manual and then just sliding your finger up and down, which is cool. It's really smooth and the peaking helps you nail focus every single time. You can also change your white balance by using a Kelvin slider or choosing it based on the weather. ISO is adjustable in the same way, which is great because smaller smartphone sensors don't handle high ISOs very well at all. To compensate for your underexposed image with a lower ISO, you can always adjust the shutter speed. Having these settings built into the stock camera app is fantastic. If you want to know how to use these to get cinematic footage with your phone, I've linked a video up there and in the notes down below that I made that kind of covers everything on getting cinematic footage with your smartphone. Finally, let's take a look at low light. Alright, so right off the bat, the first thing I noticed was how good the pictures turned out in low light from the Note 9. The video is still not super great, but it isn't all that bad to be honest. It was better than I was expecting. You can definitely pull out some usable footage. The cool people over at Moment have made a great video comparing different phone cameras in low light, which I've linked in the notes down below if you want to see that. They have the Pixel 3, the Note 9, the iPhone XS, and I think they even use the iPhone 4. Anyway, finally, let's take a look at some of the pictures I've taken with this camera. Okay, so yes, they look very good. I would definitely trust this camera for a few quick snapshots while I'm out and about. But again, like I say in every video with a phone camera, no, I do not think it can replace a proper DSLR or mirrorless camera. 
Phone cameras have come a long way and they keep getting better every day. But at the end of the day, they just can't replace real cameras. However, if they are all you have, then go for it. You at the very least don't have an excuse to not be creating anymore. Anyway, I'm curious what you guys think, so make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you want to see more videos every week, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Anyway, this has been Echo Productions. I'm Silas Willoughby, and I'll see you next time.